Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila and welcome back to some Dawnless Days. This is the Lord of the Rings modification for the game and my god is it glorious. So many beautiful factions and today we have a beautiful battle. We have good versus evil. What is better than that? Coming up on the good side we have the elves. They are supported by the dwarves and the soldiers of Dale and they are going to have a pretty hefty fight against them because they are currently besieging this lovely lovely settlement and as you can see there are plenty of ways for the defenders to hold choke points there are rivers to push the enemy back and then even this final defense right here which again only has a couple ways of assaulting it which should make for the absolute perfect defense on the defense i should say we do have the men of umber so the rich merchants to the south of middle earth they're going to be putting up a pretty nice fight with their black numenorians and plenty of other soldiers over on the right hand side here we do have the men of Dunland. Dunland are actually receiving a pretty major overhaul in the next patch so that's going to be pretty exciting well, maybe not the next patch but coming up in the near future before the campaign drops they're going to be receiving a complete overhaul a complete custom relook and yeah it looks really cool they've been showing stuff over on their discord which is always really nice and then finally we have the Uruks from Isengard this new spawn of man and beast they're going to be putting up a, a pretty sturdy defense with their crossbows their imitative weapons and their armor made for a single purpose to destroy the will of men and much like any good battle we are kicking this one off with the elves pushing themselves into range and unleashing a volley or two from their quivers this is going to be the initial assault and yeah it seems like the elves who are normally quite reluctant to get themselves stuck into combat are going to be the first ones under the wall and the defenders aren't planning on holding this line they're falling back to a little bit of i guess a more of a defensible terrain they also also only have their lighter infantry on these initial positions so really not putting up much of a fight whatsoever on these outer layers i guess they're just trying to wear down the enemy utilize the uh, ammunition and take down as much as they can um yeah it doesn't seem like they're defending pretty much any of these walls actually I, I take that back maybe it does seem like the men of umber who have actually a very elite force here they're gonna be the ones holding a lot closer i'm surprised they're not trying to defend these uh, towers a little bit more but i guess you know when you're going up against heavy heavy infantry from the dwarves who are not really going to be doing too much damage to them. Isengard have now brought up some of their crossbowmen in the center of the battlefield and I imagine these guys are here to basically hammer the Galadrian sword warriors as soon as yeah, there you go the first volley going off hopefully taking out one or two of these immortal elves uh actually not oh yeah only taking out a handful of them as they, they make their way further forward the sentinels trying to get themselves stuck in and this is a really good tactic they can then just retreat these crossbows through the lighter positions but already racking up a lot of kills and wow look at the elven general Haldir is currently up in this position he needs to be very careful yeah immediately isengard jumps on this looking to try and take down as many from his bodyguard as possible these elven bowmen are the master classes of their race and yeah throwing them up is a very very dangerous position uh, luckily they're able to now get more soldiers committed in we do now have the rest of his infantry being engaged by the rabble that is Dunland, not really equipped with too much and the elves should be able to put these guys down yeah, very very easily not too much hassle whatsoever the dwarves are also but getting themselves stuck in here as you can see the dwarves have a much harder time uh, of things though they are fighting some black numenorians the rest of the umber sailors are very very skilled warriors and as you can see able to really kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these armored dwarven warriors and they're also receiving some pretty dangerous stuff I got shock infantry right here in the side more reinforcements are being sent up and i mean this is dangerous to commit as many men as they are right here if we take a look at the overall map the more men that umber commit here the more they're relying on their dunland and urukai allies here to basically hold this gap because as soon as this gap gets broken through you'll be able to see you know the elves will be coming flying around to surprisingly help their dwarven counterparts the extreme right flank as well we are seeing dale push forward they actually use catapults to make breaches in the wall which is of course gonna massively help them in this fight however some of the vineland guard are now pushed around the flank i love the armor of these guys as well one of the oldest units actually in the mods uh, but if you take a look at their armor is crafted from uh, the El uh, the olden elven uh, the kind of smiths or in this area looks really cool as the tower gets collapsed in the distance and honestly they need to be careful these Dunland Chosen are deadly already up to 67 kills and they've only lost a handful five 
warriors from that unit is always very scary indeed. Uh, luckily, though, that the uh, the soldiers have now broken their way forward and are being pushed up again. Dunlan utilizing that amazing skirmish capability with their archers and now also throwing a unit of defenders right into the side of these warriors. And as you can see, able to really utilize that good shock armor-piercing weapon right there, hammering away. I'm interested now to go back to the center of the battlefield. And somehow the Urukai are still holding on with their lightly armored soldiers. And yeah, I think we're now getting a glimpse here of the retreat now. Uh, the soldiers are coming back. This position is also under a lot of pressure from the dwarves fighting from a position of height for once right here. And I love the banners as well. The banners are great. Always a nice addition to this stuff. And yeah, they're going to be trying their best to, to, to fight and make any breach. Because generally in these defensive positions, when the defenders are holding such a long, wide line, as soon as one position starts to break, then everybody basically has to fall back. I wouldn't be surprised if we did end up seeing a retreat back across this left-hand side of the river. Just getting their soldiers to, to safety, then they can quite easily retreat back to this inner layer that has three current assault points uh, like so. So uh, yeah, I imagine trying to hold this position is going to be good. And it's really going to be up to the attackers, who are now putting a lot more pressure on. But yeah, if the attackers can actually come here and start cutting off the bridges, that's also going to be big, preventing this massive army from retreating. Because so far, this force of Dunlan seemingly are doing the best out of everybody. Oh, a big artillery here is going to get a good one. Oh, just going a little bit too long. That is unfortunate. But yeah, look at that. Dunland are currently just decimating the men of Dale. More reinforcements are being sent up, but... I mean, so far, they've, they've not really inflicted much damage considering the advantages they had as well. Like, they had some of the best uh, soldiers. This unit, oh my god, this unit of Lake Town Guard are getting decimated. Ori lost 40 men from the unit. These poor warriors are literally not going to make it to the wall. The next couple of volleys are going to see them. Oh, it's just brutal. Look at it. That is absolutely insane. I think these guys are going to end up being victorious and then just being able to go back and reinforce. They're going to definitely need some support uh, on that side. Uh, speaking of which, though, luckily, these guys have now been able to actually obtain that. Going to be looking to break across the river here uh, and then come into the side and, uh, yeah, put pressure on the rest of them. Again, try and keep them engaged here and stop their retreat. This is a long way away, which is going to provide for a very fun battle. Yeah, the dwarves have won over here. They've also been able to link up with their elven comrades and have been able to actually surround the enemy position here, putting, as I said, untold amounts of pressure on the... And yeah, that's going to see that unit completely surrounded and taken care of. And yeah, they're, they're basically just cleaning up this front. Going to then reform and then look to take on the next siege. I like, though, that they are sending reinforcements. These are so needed. And a great charge there by the Elven Warriors. The Galadrian Sword Warriors able to fully commit there. And yeah, they're immediately looking to envelop these lines. You can see they're breaking around the flank. And I imagine the rest of these soldiers are going to come in as well. These archers are going to line up and definitely focus down the Blood Avengers. Who have, have honestly paid for themselves here. They've done such a great job already. That they're, you know, they're very impressive with their quality. Looking to prevent this flank. Again, the micro is just a tiny bit off. They could have got that charge. I think they would have got counter charge. So not necessarily the best way. These archers being set up though are going to be deadly. And this should also... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was going to say this should also provide some extra... Uh, pressure, but Dale have just been absolutely dismantled. The player just not able to get anything in there. Um, and it's really crumbled. They have barely anything left now. Unless they have some more soldiers actually inside, that's not looking good whatsoever. Uh, luckily, hopefully, the elves can come in with the arrow fire, take care of this expensive shock infantry, and try and save the day. But if they can't, and you know, these forces are able to then retreat across the river, that is not looking good. We're also now getting another engagement over here as the elves continue to push up against the Urukai. The pike's being brought up, though, and I think that's going to, yeah, send a lot of these uh, shock infantry back. A really nice play here by the Galadrian Sword Warriors, getting them out of there. No point to engage with these. Um, and again, this is all boiling down to the fact that the uh, Dale got so wrecked that the archers are now having to commit themselves over here rather than hammering. Normally, the other archers would just be pounding away at these Urukai pikemen. Um, and I don't know how much of a pounding they can take. Not a good one. Not like your boy right here who can take a good pounding. Okay, so on this right flank now, 
the dwarfs, as ever, are slowly moving into the settlement. There's so much action going on. And the dwarfs, they're just going at their own pace, bringing in their crossbow, uh, crossbowmen bit by bit. They could have easily have sent soldiers around to this game, got their entire army in. Seems like they're just like, yeah, you know, whatever. We'll get there when we get there. Such a dwarven way. The fighting on the left-hand side is brutal now. The elves are basically committing everything they have. And another beautiful play here by the Dundon, Dundon player able to get his soldiers fully committed into these guys more soldiers being pushed up and yeah they're breaking the elves they're committing everything and again they've lost a lot of their their shock infantry this is done and spent but it's all about with a faction like Dunland, it's all about committing that to the battlefield they oh no that is brutal vinland guard as well getting out of vinland guard getting absolutely terrorized by the Dunland reavers right there it's going to absolutely trample so many of these elite expensive infantry as they then pull away from this and more men are being committed. At this point, you know, it's just really up to the uh, the men of Dale just to kind of you know, spend as much as they can, utilize their resources. Um, the archers are going to be doing a good job here firing into this. But again, we are in trees as well, which is going to be nullifying a lot of the arrows. And that's basically done and spent. But they they paid their way. They really have. They spent a lot of the Elven ammunition, which is going to be crucial as they progress on with stuff like these Urukai pikemen. And I think really the only ammunition that, that is left on the attacking side is going to be down to them dwarves. It's going to be up to the dwarven crossbowmen to find their way and break away these pikemen and the other kind of more sturdier infantry that, that really remains. And yeah, utilizing that is going to be very important. Uh, the archers are falling back. And as I said, they have, a, they have a little bit of ammunition. They've got a lot of kills as well. So they've definitely been able to take out Dunland. But they really did not want to if they could avoid it. And now the, the remnants of these soldiers, you know, these elven shock infantry. And it's going to be up to them to do exactly that again. More soldiers actually being committed to this. I mean, to be fair, I think you're going to be able to mass route these guys. Uh, maybe the, yeah, the Gladian Spear Warriors. Are they going to charge them? I mean, these guys aren't braced. Please brace. Yeah, good. They, they decided against it. They really did. But with all this infantry, these guys need to be very careful. I almost would like to, like, back these guys into a corner, maybe. The cavalry's coming in. I mean, these guys aren't braced. I just wonder what's going to happen. Okay, they're turning. And that charge was really bad. Okay, this could be a big turning point. If they can get a lucky kill on the... Yeah, that was, that was a bad charge. That was a bad charge. They're going to kill a lot of this elite cavalry. Yeah, pretty much half the unit. If they can get a lucky kill on the general, that would be massive and probably see done than done for. Not going to be the case, but already this this unit has uh, yeah paid for itself, I think. They all have basically nothing left. They're, they're, they're keeping their... I mean, they have a very good unit of cavalry. This could maybe clutch it for them. I would send this cavalry in now, right? There's nothing here. Yeah, there's nothing here besides some shock infantry and some chosen. The chosen do have javelins, but... Yeah, bring this cavalry in now. Start racking up kills. Start helping this. And as I said, yeah... I thought there was going to be a big mass route in the center here, and there exactly was. I mean, I say that, a lot of the elves are breaking as well, but the Gladian Spear Royals will clear this up unless these guys decide to retreat, which they should, and try and pull out. The dwarves are being pushed up, elves aware. Yeah, and the dwarven army is just delaying too much. The elves are committed to the left. The dwarves need to be in here, and like, there's not really much missile fire here. The dwarves have a very good anti-missile fire. Basically, what they, I think, I think they need to do anyway is just bring up the crossbows, and just start hammering away at these front lines. Like, yes, they're shielded infantry. But you'll, you'll make your way through here very quickly with your crossbows. Um, and you need to be making these breach points. You know, you need to also utilize here. Like, there's not really a lot of archers here. So line up here and start shooting in. Exploiting these gaps. Because, again, the defenders don't have a lot of men. Uh, really, uh, when it comes to it. Consider, again, the numbers look weird. But it's all about quality. Dawnless Days is all about the more... Every faction is very different. You know, the elves... The dwarfs have much more elite soldiers, whereas some of the Urukai, Dunland, their numbers are much larger, but they're not as good quality. Uh, so again, you can never really trust the, the unit count or the balance of power. I absolutely love this unit right here as well. This unit of elves. They look amazing. Them cloaks are awesome. Oh, beautiful kill right there. Showing what a thousand years of training does to a warrior. Is Haldir still alive as well? He must be, right? Okay, finally the dwarves have now pushed up here with their crossbows. Something they needed to do a long time ago, I think. Because already, look at that. They're, they're starting to whittle down that Halo-esque shield that the units have in Attila. Once that HP is gone, they drop like flies. And they're already starting to fire away. Uh, yes, they're going to take counter fire. But also, that's fine. If these Urukai archers want to try and penetrate the armor of 
Erebor crossbowmen, you're going to out be outputting a lot more damage than them. And you can never outrange them either, so it's not really a big deal. And you're utilize, look, they're like using a lot of ammunition um, as well, so you're kind of okay with that. And you're breaking up their infantry, you're, you're dealing damage to these you know, Black Haven Sentinels and stuff. Also, it seems like as well that they've completely broken through this left-hand side. Putting a lot of pressure there has clearly paid dividends, and now they're breaking forward. The, the elite cavalry of Dale are now finally making their way in. Uh, taking a bit of missile fire, I think. That horse just died from something. I'm not sure what. Maybe a tower somewhere? Maybe the fire that's now spreading throughout the city. Either way, though, they are going to be pulling back, and the rest of the, uh, the bardings are also coming in elite cavalry and archers. They can still have some decent game impact. Honestly, if I was them, I'd be using this cavalry to maybe try and break through and deal with these archers. Or maybe even the... the yeah, there's not really much here. Oh, and this is nice. The elves now committing heavily. Could find themselves trapped, but able to pin down a unit of Urukai crossbowmen. More men of Umbra are now throwing themselves into the meat grinder, looking to try and stop them. And yeah, Dung are now coming in clutch, looking to try and trap that. The dwarfs are moving to the left-hand side, but just too slowly. They're not able to commit themselves a little bit quicker. They need to get in here and help them. Because right now, the crossbows, the remnants of the Yokai crossbowmen are doing a lot of damage. And yeah, the dwarfs have now gone into a marching column. Going to close in. They need that cavalry. Dale, where are you? You are needed. You need to be here right now. You could be stopping a lot of this cavalry. The champion reavers kill Dunland's general would be big. Unfortunately, though, they are struggling. And unfortunately, it seems like... Uh, yeah, the crossbowmen have kind of been stopped. This is how you, you stop crossbowmen is you just engage the front line. You put pressure on them. But it, you just retreat. Like with the crossbowmen, you just fall back. You just fall back and, and be like, okay, come at me. I mean, you open yourself into this area. Right now, these dwarven crossbowmen are not being utilized. And they need to be. They really need to be. Oh my God, I can't believe Dale are moving. Like, just look at this. Look how much damage Dale could be doing. They could be running through the shock infantry, killing these archers, stopping this uh, champion reaver unit who is just having the time of their life right now. Luckily, a few of them going down right there. The friendly fire, which is a godsend. But yeah, Dale, you need to step it up, my friend. Reinforcements coming. Unfortunately, I think a little bit too late. <laughs> I think there's like maybe they have five, six dwar uh, elves left. And yeah, they're falling back. That's going to be the heroes of Mano Lock gone. One of the uh, the enemy generals have now also gone down. That's going to be Haldir. No, dead to an Urukai bow. And things are looking very bleak. I mean, as always, the dwarfs have so much strength left. They just need to be committing it. They need to be throwing it in, utilizing these crossbows. I mean, saving these crossbows to the end of the, the match is not a bad idea. There is like no reason to be engaging. Uh, it, no reason to be engaging these these halberds whatsoever. I mean, now that they have their own tomb wardens here, a little bit less of a problem. Tomb wardens will go toe to toe. We just shoot the, you just shoot them with crossbows and retreat if they come forward. You know. Also, you know, the entire time this is all going on as well. So you're putting pressure on them. Finally, we have it. The Dale Cavalry fully committing to this fight, seeing off the enemy cavalry. Uh, yeah, going to fall back and engage them outside of the Dunland Chosen. Don't really want to get in a prolonged engagement. But yeah, finally these guys are up. We also have the archers as well. They're able to that now start shooting into the backs. Yeah, this could be really good. Into the backs of these guys. And we are having, you know, more and more of the dwarves and elves pushing through this gap. Looking to commit in. But dealing with these crossbows going to be important. Utilizing that space. Really just need to see that general taken care of. Yeah, kill the Dunlan general. And that's probably going to see whatever remnants of Dunlan. Uh, yeah, and there's not really many archers left either. So I, I think this flank is going to fall. And the attackers are going to progress on. They're going to kill the cavalry. It's going to give the, uh, the, the, the regents plenty of time to do what they want. They could literally come up here and start harassing the city center if they wanted to do charging into Urukai infantry up here. Like, I think the attackers have a very good chance to win this. The dwarves have so much left. Like, honestly, the dwarves have so much left. I, they could easily win this. They have so much ammunition as well. They should be able to utilize it. I think the defenders are in, in a lot of trouble right now. If that, if that Barden cavalry can come in clutch... Oh, sorry, the Dale cavalry, which is now about to break that. That's going to send Dun what remains of Dunlin completely gone. They're already getting around the flank here to deal with a crossbow, which is really good. So a lot of arrow fire, though. There's a lot of arrow fire. And this is another reason why you want to be skirmishing as well. 
uh, as the attackers with your own crossbows. Like, oh, that's, that's not good yet. Finally, he went down, but he got a lot of kills. But yeah, this is another reason why skirmishing with this dwarven crossbow units are actually really good because these are heavily armored units. They're not going to be getting taken down easily, and they'll exchange very nicely. We've got two shock units here, the dwarfs and the berserkers, doing what the elves could not. Bring it down, bring it down. And the heavy armor is proving worth, even with the good armor piercing of the, the the berserkers being forced to retreat now. But the defenders are not giving up. They are committing more and more soldiers to this fight. Planning on doing as much as they can. The cavalry, yeah, the cavalry is going to completely clear up this flank. And there you go. The dwarves have broken forward. They just need to utilize this ammunition. And I, yeah, all of a sudden, I think this is looking very good. I'm surprised as well they haven't tried to, like, break ground this flank either you can utilize the walls to get all the way around and hit these guys like, I mean, like you could even put crossbows on the wall that's a really good tactic by the way you put cross you mount the crossbows on the wall and then they'll turn and basically shoot into the uh the defenders and you know there's nothing really to stop them so you can, you can have a, a very good time this unit though right here the black haven sentinels yeah are able to really get stuck in here against the dwarves and two wardens don't quite have the reach and that is Dunlan's last breath, unfortunately. Unable to uh, unable to do much more. But I think they definitely earned their keep. I would be very surprised to see how many kills they get at the end of this battle. Because it is a lot. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely were the MVPs of this battle. Win or lose. And the dwarves are now being brought up again. Their, their units are routing. But I think this you know, missile fire has been pretty brutal. Yeah, the dwarves are breaking that flank. This is going to be a close battle. This really is. Because now, all of a sudden, the, the crossbows can now fire. Which is good. The uh, cavalry coming in, just acting as clutch. It's going to be a little bit dangerous there. The berserkers are unbreakable, so they can fully commit here. The crossbows now can clear up all of what remains here now, though. And then this is like a big missile off. But then the defenders have infantry. And the dwarves are actually breaking now. Okay, the, the last couple units are coming up. But these are elite units that can now get stuck in and deal with a lot of this. There is barely any ammunition left. It's going to be a close one. This is going to be down to the wire. The out of ammunition crossbowmen are now being committed to the fight. Looking to just try and get onto these soldiers as much as they can. Um, luckily though, the dwarven general able to intercept that unit. And they're just daring through them. And the hammers are impactful. Ripping right through the Urukai armor. Honestly, the dwarves are like the perfect match for... Uh, for the crossbowmen because they just rip through their armor somehow though these blackhaven guard are able to just rack up kill after kill reinforcements are now pushing around the flank uh yeah and i think the defenders are now deciding okay we've done it we'll fall back now a little engagement over here but again these are the the, the elite soldiers of umber so these are the the very good black numenorians uh, they're going yeah, to be hard pressed to defeat. These Gladian Spear Warriors are going to pick away with the archers as a shield. Is, is a perfect maneuver right there by the attackers. Very nice. But here we go. A full on retreat. These units here are going to be you're completely overrun. And we're going to get a final stand, I guess. Do they have enough to withstand this assault? And side was completely broken. They, they just didn't have the morale, I guess. They were able to pick away three soldiers from this unit. Not really too good. Uh, and now the attack does seem like it. Yeah, it's just not looking that great honestly the way they win this is by utilizing their crossbows they have all their ammunition left um and it's going to be up to them like it really is going to be up to them to utilize that and if the defenders can prevent that from happening they're going to win this they just need to basically play cat and mouse they need to just avoid engaging if they throw in their infantry here it's over they, they've lost lost the game they're going to get enveloped they don't have enough men to really stop this as i said it's going to be up to the crossbows and yeah, they're getting caught. It's over. The attackers aren't going to win this. No way. Yeah, they're getting engaged. Yeah, oh, that's bad. Down and hit as well. It's a very nice charge. And even though this was an extremely close battle, like I can already tell you, the defenders have had this uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, no way. Even though this was an extremely close battle, there were just a few minor mistakes. Like even with Dale getting absolutely, you know, dumpstered on by the uh, the very nice plays of, 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 uh, of the... Dunland Realm. You know, the fact that these crossbows have all their ammunition left. They were just, yeah, even with with them mistakes, like this battle was still incredibly, incredibly close. And either side could have pulled this one out. Unfortunately, though, not going to be the case. 
and we are going to see an evil stand. I mean, I say that, it'd be, it'd be very interesting if all of a sudden they, they broke, but yeah, the fact that these crossbows have ammunition left is, is, a, is a sin in my book, that is for sure. Though we are getting some play here, the dwarves are coming around the flank here. That's going to really kick the Urukai player in the crotch. Like this cross, this unit crossbows is going to be great, and you can kind of see how devastating it is. Like, that's a nice volley right there. You're going to whittle these guys down in, you know, a handful of shots. So, I guess there is still a, still a chance. There is still a chance. I say that there isn't. And maybe there's an elite unit of Dane foot guard as the heads roll down there. And probably knocking over a crossbow unit or two. So, maybe maybe I'm, I'm mistaken. I'll have to edit all of that out. Oh, no, I won't edit that out, even if I'm wrong. Um... Yeah, there you go. Nice move there by the defenders looking to close these guys down because they are getting shot to pieces. You can just see how devastating them crossbows are. Able to get a nice little shot. Now, they are going to be enveloped, but it's probably better to be enveloped by a, a weakened unit of bardings than it is to be stuck and engaged in there. The last couple shots here as well, looking to finish these guys off. And that's exactly what they need to do. Uh, just fall back. And yeah, these crossbows just can't get a good angle. You need, it, you need a direct line of sight there uh, to bring them down. More reinforcements coming over as well to help deal with that. Yeah, and as I said, that's going to be GG for sure. We're going to see these guys breaking. As soon as Dane goes down, it's going to affect the left flank as well as the right flank. Crossbow's able to get a couple more volleys in. There you go. Immediately being overrun right there. And then this last unit going to be stopped. And then that's all that ammunition done. The left-hand side now being enveloped by the elite spearmen and just counter-charged after charge, dealing with these crossbowmen. That's GG. Very well played there by the defenders. It's going to be a GG for sure. A Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, and that literally came down to like four units. So if the attackers could have just tightened up, you know, that little bit more, I think they could have easily have taken that. Like, I think that was literally the difference between the dwarfs slow pushing this flank and utilizing their ammunition a bit more effectively uh, and then them not. Again, it wasn't obviously completely just on the Dwarven back there, but I think that, that could have been a play that would have turned the battlefield. And you can see the numbers as well, like how many more soldiers the attackers did have. Um, and Dale didn't do awfully, like they still got kills, but this infantry just did not do enough. Um, but luckily, able the bardings with 400 kills is very nice for sure. Um, just not able to push in a little bit more. As I said, I'm interested to see Dunlan's kills. Yeah, look at Dunlan's Dunlan racked up just more kills than they should have on all of their units. Very nice indeed. A uh, big shout out to all these players though. It was a very, very good battle. Went down to the wire. And if you want to see more uh, Dawnless Days on the channel, let me know by just dropping a like and a comment down below. If this video gets 200 likes, I'll go ahead and make sure I do another one probably for next week. So tune in for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.